Hey Troopers, welcome back to Starship Troopers Extermination. In this video I just want to do a live commentary and a mission um, and just explain why I'm doing what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Um, just for any players that have maybe only done a few missions and they're a little confused about what's going on or it's a little chaotic um, and this will hopefully help to um, alleviate some of that confusion. Um, we're going to be skipping the boot camp. That's just a build tutorial. If you don't want to build, you don't need to do that. Um, you can start with any of these classes, even if it's your very first uh, mission, but really the Hunter is the most popular one for starting out. Um, and that's what we're going to be playing. Um, Marita MK1, Peacemaker, Pistol, and Grenade. That's the only things you'll have unlocked when you first start. You won't have utility or perks. Um, for the class, you get a jump jet, and you run faster than all the other classes, so... It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, game mode, you'll only have AAS unlocked. It's advanced and secure. You won't have ARC uh, mode unlocked. That uh, unlocks at rank 5 account level, which takes about 5 hours in game. It's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more hands-on. I'll probably have a, a tutorial for that one too, but um, AAS is what we're reviewing today. Uh, we'll be playing on Recruit Easy, just because that's what I recommend for new players. You can pick your region here, and then press play. Let's get straight into it. All right, so here we are in game. We've got our synopsis of what's going on. We're advancing, we're securing, we're starting the mission, all good things. Um, we're gonna join whatever squad is uh, the most filled out, but not uh, not full like that. Um, so we're just gonna pick this one. We're gonna be playing as Hunter. And we're just gonna run out of the dropship toward this first zone. It's gonna be the same thing every time. Um, you wanna be sitting inside the circle because you're gonna see up in the top left that we're securing the landing zone and that the bar is going to be filling up. The more people you have inside this landing zone, the faster the bar is going to fill up. <clears throat> so we're just going to be killing the bugs here, securing the, the landing zone for our supplies, because the first dropship brought the troopers in, and the second dropship is going to bring supplies. As soon as this circle turns... Yeah, as soon as this circle turns red, then you are you don't need to stand inside of it. In fact, you probably shouldn't, because the, uh, the fob is coming down, and you if you're standing in the middle of it, you might die. That guy escaped death. So if I find the entrance, which is on the other side, I'm going to get ammo inside of here. Every fob is going to have ammo whenever it drops as part of a mission like that. Now up in the top left, you can see we're resupplying and waiting for orders. 12 seconds left. Um, if you want to get a head start, you can actually see where the next zone is by pressing tab to open up your map. The blinking yellow zone is going to be where your next mission is. These two red zones are going to be future missions after we complete this zone here. Um, so just just by playing for a while I see that this is going to be our first zone, this is going to be our second, this is going to be our final zone. Um, so we've got these green missions here, there's a couple different mission types, there's green, there's yellow, there's red, and there's blue. Um, green mission types are always going to give you rocket launchers, so they're pretty nice. Um, you've got them all lined up here, if you want to be on a different one, um, then you can just click on one, it's going to change uh, which one you're going to. It also gives you a breakdown of who's assigned to what, so you can see that my squad is actually assigned to this. Well, I, okay, so <laughs> I'm confusing my squad because, um, you can, yeah, okay, anyways, um, <laughs> we had a funny moment there where I was selecting one and then, um, a pop-up will come up in the middle of your screen, like mine is on the middle, and it's going to prompt you to join whatever one that your, uh, your teammate has just joined. So whenever I, uh, want to work with my squad, then you just pick one of these missions and hopefully your squad follows. Otherwise you can just go to whichever one has more of your squad mates. Um, in it, you can tell what your squad mates are just by the uh, the blue instead of the gray. So we've already finished some of them, and we're working on the other ones. And I'm going the wrong way, of course. I'm not going to worry too much about combat or uh, optimizing my combat score or anything like that. I'm just going to be focusing on um, guiding some gameplay. All right, so we have our first special type of bug where I'm going to get wrecked by a gunner bug. They have glowing, they're a little, glow you might get a better look at a future one, but as you can tell by my health bar, it absolutely wrecked me. So that's what they look like. They're red, they're glowing, and they're everywhere, apparently. Don't worry about dying, you're probably going to be doing that in a lot uh, of your first mission. It's not too big a deal. There's not really any uh, penalty for death, really. Okay, so that's a good look at the gunner bug, that's what it looks like, and it's honestly just a machine gun of death. <clears throat> Alright, so we just had to wait out our timer so that we could respawn. We could have been picked up during that time, but there weren't enough teammates there to help us out. So, um, we finished all of the objectives. Now we're just resupplying and waiting for the next orders. Everybody's assigned to it again. And we're going to have this next yellow zone. If you want, you can press Q or middle mouse. It's going to drop a ping. That way people know where to go. You can get ahead of the curve um, and start guiding your team into the right direction so that you guys can finish up the mission quickly get some XP, all that good stuff. 
So yeah, we're going to be going down here. We've got another green mission, and I can tell you that right now that we're going to have a lot of rocket launchers because um, the last one was green and this one is green. That means we had two rocket launcher missions. Each one of these little uh, little little uh, green markers either gives you one or two depending on the mission. This one specifically is a, a um, repair generator's mission, so each generator is going to have one rocket launcher. The other one, uh, the mission that we just did, had two rocket launchers per uh, per zone because it was basically just secure the zones. So we're going to try with our play with our team here instead of just uh, going off on our own. You can go off on your own as hunter if there's a lot of buildings nearby and you can get up onto high ground so that the bugs can't catch you, but um, you're not exactly uh, a tank. So if you try to play alone when there's not really any high cover to play as, play on top of, um, you're probably just going to get wrecked. So you can see how important cover is, especially with all of these gunner bugs around. They're pretty deadly. We're going to be careful here. I don't think I've gone over the jetpack. Um, essentially, the jet any of the class abilities is just pressing C um, in order to activate it. So my class specifically, if I press C, I'm going to use a jetpack to go upward. It's going to use your momentum. So if I'm using it while I'm falling, it's going to cushion my fall, but it's not going to let me go back up. And if I use it while I'm jumping, I'm going to get extra height because it's going to absorb that momentum uh, from the jump. So like this, I can cushion my fall. Maybe a little early there, but um, I wouldn't worry too much about fall damage unless it's like a huge jump because um, fall damage isn't too, too prevalent in this game. Um, if you didn't know, these are rocket launchers. You can actually pull out your pistol first, like this guy did. Um, actually, he didn't, unless he has two. Um, you can pull out your pistol, and you can just replace your pistol with the rocket launchers. It's a lot more effective to keep your your main weapon and then have the secondary be a rocket launcher. I guess I can show you over here if I'm the only one that wants to grab it. These little icons, the, the gray ones, are where the rocket launchers are. Rocket launchers have three three shots per uh, per reload. They're very strong, very, very, very strong, especially for killing bugs like this. This is a Grenadier bug. It's good that it showed up. Uh, they don't die in one hit, I promise. Uh, they're not, the rocket launchers aren't that strong, and the Grenadiers are pretty pretty tanky, but um, we'll get to see what Grenadier bugs do in a minute. That wasn't a great example because it got wrecked by my rocket launcher, but um, yeah. You should always try to grab a rocket launcher as a hunter if you can. If you can't, it's not a big deal. Or if you die with one, um, you are not going to respawn with it, so it's going to be lost forever. But like I said, it's not too big of a deal. Um, it is nice to have, but it's not an end-all be-all. Um, so we've got the HQ here. Um, we had to come over here and build it. It'll be just a blueprint, and then you basically have to pull out, uh, pull out your repair tool, repair it up. And then you have the arc that comes in and drops. Um, that's this big yellow thing. Make sure you build your defenses around this yellow arc, not the HQ, because the HQ uh, has, uh, it's invincible, and the arc is not. So these MGs right here aren't ideal. I, I don't want to do a lot of building just because I want to keep this video very simple. I'm going to show you um, how it's not very important to be uh, building. You can basically just build everybody else's stuff. Um, so see, he put a wall up here. I'm just going to run over here with the repair tool, and I'm going to put up his blueprint. You don't need to be uh, great at building in order to play this game. That's something you get with time, where to put things and whatnot. If you do want to build something, you just press R again while your repair tool is out. It's going to switch you into place mode. You can see that on the reflected on the UI of the gun. Um, and then you just press Q and E to switch between different building types. Um, rotate with middle mouse wheel. Say I want to put a tower here. Um, then I can switch back to rep uh, repair mode and start putting up my blueprint. Looks like we've got a nice little uh, double tower going on here where he put his one, one behind mine. And our ladders are going to intersect, which is interesting. So now we've got two towers here. Uh, my tower is placed a little bit better <laughs> since I can actually see over the wall, but... He's learning too, just like we all are. So we've got our walls around the arc. Um, honestly, I will say that this is an ideal one. These uh, electric fences are facing the wrong way. Um, they're only one direction. And currently that direction is not the right way. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about uh, fixing up this this game, this build or whatever. 
Um, we've also got MG turrets. These are automatic turrets that you don't need to man. They're basically just sentries. Um, you typically want to put them um, on the outside walls facing out toward where the bugs are coming from. Not on the inside right now because they're not going to have anything to shoot at until the walls are actually breached. And if you place the walls right, you won't be breached. So these are going to get absolutely zero value um, where they're at, which isn't too big a deal. They're honestly, they're pretty good, but they're not like, they're not like super, super good. So um, I can see the blue trails of a grenadier. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and start shooting it. There you go. It's dead. I had a lot of help there. So it looked like it died really fast. I'm actually going to play on top of this rooftop with my jetpack because I'm going to be safe from the bugs. This is a tiger. It's basically just a giant tanky bug. I can ping it with my middle mouse or Q to tell my team to start killing it. There you go. It's dead. So I get 50 XP for killing the tiger. I get 100 XP for um, killing or taking part in a grenade or kill. And you get uh, 5 XP for killing any gunner. So it's definitely worth going for the big bugs. Um, I'm not going to go for that Reva. Um, it's a little bit too late now. I didn't want to go for it just because I saw so many bugs uh, were around him. You can see another tiger here. I can actually just pull out my rocket launcher and start putting shots into it. See, it takes more than three. These bugs are, are super tanky. The Grenadiers too. It just looks like they're dying really fast because I have lots of help. But I think it just died. i play on top of this again. Oh no, it didn't die. Still alive, man. There you go, finally died. So yeah, they're very tanky. I'm trying to find a grenadier so you get to, you get a good example of what that one does. Yeah, so as you can tell, I'm playing a lot on the rooftops, trying to stay off the ground um, in general. Trying not to shoot my teammate in the back of the head. You can see some gunners there. I kill the gunners. Because, honestly, the gunners are the only things that pose a threat to me. Besides grenadiers lobbing mortars up here, the uh, the gunners are the only thing that can reach me. Because these bugs, there's no way up here. They can't scale walls or anything, so I'm perfectly safe. As long as there's no gunners. So, if I see a gunner, I'm going to kill a gunner first. I'm really wondering why there's no grenadiers. There's just that one or those two. It's honestly kind of a kind of a bad thing since they give you 100 XP per kill. You kind of want a lot of them to spawn. They can completely wreck your team, but they give you great XP when you do kill them. So I'm gonna use this rocket launcher to get a couple extra kills, and then I'm gonna drop back because, as you can tell, I have no ammo. <coughs> and then I'm gonna look to see where my team placed any ammo can canisters. So you can see one right here. Just hold F on it. Fills up your ammo completely. Those uh, big ammo canisters also refill like any of your utilities if you have any. Obviously, with this loadout, I do not. Gunner bug there. Um, these rocket launchers are great for gunner bugs too, because they die in one shot, and it, it it just gives you the range. The Marita rifle really doesn't have too much range on it, um, but the rocket launcher really gives you range. So our team's doing a really good job at handling um, everything that we're getting thrown at us. We can go take a take a peek over at the other side of the base and <coughs> see if there's anything going on over here that mm, requires a rocket launcher. <laughs> so we can see a tiger over there. That's perfect for my rocket launcher. If I can actually hit it, gotta predict a little bit here, Jacko. Oh, two tigers. I see another one there. We're gonna keep shooting at this one though. Maybe, actually, I'll hit the other one just so I get the 50 XP. Okay, too late. But, like, uh, it's a good idea to disperse your damage just so you get included in all of the kills. So you get the most amount of XP as possible. And throw my grenade. Grenades are unlimited, by the way. Um, it's just on a long cooldown. It's on a minute and a half cooldown, so I don't usually use them very often. You want to use them uh, when it's most appropriate. All right, so... The arc was completed. You might have seen up in the top left that bar was filling and it was giving you a percentage um, of how, how, uh, how it was doing. Um, now we're just preparing for extraction. So I'm going to get up somewhere high, ideally, so I can see the dropship. Or you can press tab and it will show up on your map too. You can do it that way. Um, and then we're just going to look around for the dropship when it does get here. Like right there. We're going to ping it. You can also see it on our map. It'll pop up uh, even without the ping like that. 
and then essentially we're going to run uh, over there as a as as cohesive of a unit as possible because it's a lot easier in a group and than it is when you're alone. Although as the hunter, I'm actually going to get up somewhere high and I'm going to try to cover my team um, from a place where I can focus on shooting bugs without taking damage myself. So right now I'm not being threatened by any any bugs because I'm high up. I'm going to try to kill any of the bugs that are right on top of my teammates. So if those are the ones that you should prioritize. Like this guy's getting absolutely swarmed. I'm going to try to help him out. And we'll see if we can't get everybody home today. I mean, I already saw one guy die earlier. So um, be careful when you're using your jetpack not to waste it. It's on a 10 second cooldown. If you miss your, your rooftop, you're going to be stuck on the ground. And uh, as you can tell, that's not the place you want to be. You want to be up on a rooftop nice nice and safe. <clears throat> so I can see that the coast is clear a little bit for the from the bugs. I'm going to come over here and run up to the ship. Make sure that if you're uh, if you're first in the ship that you're turning around and trying to clear the way for your comrades behind you. You've also got your ammo things back here. You've got your screen up here that tells you how many are on board and how many people died already. So we've got three dead. Um, got one extra guy right here. Once you look on your map and you see that everybody's in this general area, um, I think that guy right there is dead and then these two are dead. Um, you can use your voice comms, either team chat or proximity chat to try to get everybody inside the inside of the uh the ship here that you guys can extract because as soon as everybody's on board it leaves you don't have to wait the timer if you don't want to alternatively you could just wait the timer get some bug kills have some fun but i will say when it comes to xp um sitting out here on the ramps and killing bugs is definitely not worth your time it's definitely definitely better just to go on to the next mission and start getting xp that way gunners which are those red ones 5 xp per gunner 50 xp per tiger 100 xp per grenadier so as a hunter you should definitely be prioritizing the grenadiers and uh next we go into our combat score which is absolutely not great <laughs> 74 um and my team did pretty good this guy got 195 that's pretty good support score also from from reviving and whatnot and we finished basically completely average um when it came to squad rankings although we were a person short so that's that's perfectly acceptable and uh, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, make sure you comment any additional tips for everybody else if you have any. And uh, watch some other videos. Thanks. Bye. Bye.